program transcribed and dedicated to the prevention of crime. Calling all cars, attention all cars, broadcast 209. Regarding a kidnapping, suspect described as male, American, six feet one inch, weight 175 pounds, is heavily armed and dangerous. That is all. Gordon. for law enforcement authorities to be efficient and one jump ahead of the law breakers, it is essential that they be equipped with and make use of all the newest scientific equipment that is applicable to the discovery of crime, the identification of the criminal, and his arrest. Unless the public is willing to and does spend the money necessary in this division of law enforcement, it will result in handicapping essential police work. Not only that, but it will give the criminal an advantage over the authorities with shattering results to society. And now... The true story of the bad man. Delacote, Missouri. Well, Floyd, you're pretty young to be in a place like this. Never mind the Horatio Alger stuff. Young men, we don't tolerate an attitude like yours in this institution. You will obey the rules of this reform school and conduct yourself in such a manner as will make your stay here as brief as possible. I got a year to do. All right, I'll do a year. That's enough. According to your commitment, you were found guilty of petty theft and impersonating an officer. You realize that you're starting the wrong way, don't you? Do I have to stay in here? Until I finish talking to you, yes. Well, make it snappy, then. I'm not interested in preaching. All right, God. Take him out. Come on, Floyd. All right, stop shoving. Warden, we've got to do something about this Floyd kid. Yeah, what's he done now? Practically everything he shouldn't. This morning, he cracked another kid over the head with a plate and threw a cup at the mess hall guard while the kids were having breakfast. What's his complaint this time? Oh, who knows? He wants to be a big shot. Unless he's getting all the attention, he starts a row. Personally, I'd recommend solitary. No, no, that's against my principles. Uh, principles are not. That bird's got it coming to him. Well, we get rid of him in two weeks, thanks the Lord. Keep him in quarters till then. Metro Penitentiary, Leavenworth, Kansas, two years later. William Edward Floyd, age 21, served one year for petty theft and impersonation. Silicosi, Missouri. Conduct sad. Tough guy, are you, Floyd? What do you think? I don't think so. Stick around. You'll do that. So you've been impersonating a federal officer again. So what? So you'll be with us for three years. That's your story. Look, Floyd, we might as well understand each other now. I don't take smart talk from prisoners. You don't? No, I don't. You can make up your mind to behave yourself while you're here. 
We have certain rules. They're not particularly hard, but we insist upon them being obeyed. Now, you can do as you please. You can obey and get along with us, or you can follow the same course you've evidently been in the habit of doing. In that case, we have our own method of dealing with you. What method? Well, if you're interested, it's easy enough to find out. Maybe I will, Gordon. Captain to you, Floyd. Okay, Captain. This is the third week in solitary for Floyd, Captain. Is he ready to be good? Well, that's the question. Personally, I don't think he ever will be what we call good. Well, how much longer has he got to go? Six months. I'll make out a transfer on him. Send him to McNeil Island. I'm tired of having him around here. That boy's an incorrigible virus saw one. To say nothing of being an exhibitionist. Well, let's get him out of here. Well, you're Floyd. Get it off your chest. What's that? I said get it off your chest. Listen to me, young man. One thing this prison doesn't tolerate is insubordination. They have a bunch of pretty tough mugs in this place, but they stay in line or else. Or else what? Try getting out of line and you'll soon find out. Yeah, this joint ain't so tough. That remains to be seen. You're not tough if you're not. But just in case you decide to start something, let me remind you that discipline is our specialty. We're not interested in what you did before you came here. But while you're here, you do as we say. I'll give you a chance, Ed. We're not interested in chances or your opinion of our methods. You'll obey rules or suffer the consequences. Take him out, guys. <laughs> We're getting rid of you today, Floyd. I'm getting out, if that's what you mean. I mean just what I said. We're getting rid of you. I hope you don't feel hurt, Warden. Good riddance of bad rubbish is the way I look at it. Make it double. I suppose I should ask what you're going to do now. I suppose you should, to which I would reply it's none of your business. All right, Floyd. Have it your way. Remember, though, next time we'll be three up for you. You won't come back here. No? Nope. You'll go to Alcatraz. I can take it. I was hoping you'd stay out of my sight. Thanks, Warden. I needed them kind words. Your name's uh, Floyd? Yeah. And this time you're in Alcatraz. That's what it says, don't it? So you are tough, eh? Yeah. And don't start the usual line about rules and regulations. I ain't interested in how you treat prison. I know how long I gotta stay here and what for. So save it. Okay, Floyd. You write your own ticket. Be a good boy and we'll get along. Try any rough stuff and we'll go to town. Yes, yeah, so I've heard. Don't worry about me, Warden. I'll do as I please. I generally do. Yes, I've heard that too. But according to your record sheet, you haven't gotten by so well. I've made out. I'll be seeing you, Warden. Well, that's what I'm afraid of. Bill Floyd. The movie actor? No. Okay, pal, don't get tough about it. I'm just making conversation. Well, save it. What are you doing? The Duke. I got six weeks to go. What for? Impersonation. What's that? I was playing, pretending I was an army officer. Why? Ah, for the love of my pipe down. Hey, you want to make some jack? Huh? I got a girl in Walla Walla. So what? She knows some right guys down in San Diego. Still, so what? I gotta get her south. Hmm? Yeah. And you copy can? Sure. The torch in our mob goes to the hot seat a week from Monday. Some of the boys is gonna make a break for it. If we don't make it, you look up this same in Walla Walla and see that she gets south. You won't lose nothing by it. Okay. Flip me your hands. You just go to the order court out on F Street. And ask for one either. That'll find it. Well, Floyd, it didn't turn out so tough after all. From which you conclude I've loined the less. Yeah, maybe. Maybe is right. Don't congratulate yourself, Warden. I'm just not interested in this joint. Floyd, you're breaking my heart. Take it easy, Warden. I may be back. The Lord forbid. Don't tell me I wouldn't be welcome. Floyd, if you ever come back to Alcatraz, you might just as well make up your mind to spend the rest of your life by yourself. If you ever come back here, it'll be solitary from then on. Don't worry, copper. 
I won't be back. I wish I could be sure of that. Take my word for it. I won't be back. Just outside the city of Walla Walla, a motorist gives a young man a lift. Get in. Yeah, that nice weather we're having. Yeah. yeah. Nice for walking. Yeah. Why don't you try it? No. Uh, 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 what? Get out. Go on, get out. Oh, well, well, what's the idea, young fella? I thought I was doing you a favor. And, and there now you... you are. I said get out. Oh. When I tell him to get out, I mean for him to get out. Sure is a nice car. Radio and everything. Have to see what we can get here. Uh, we both in our broadcast for this important announcement. We make it the request of the local police. All officers and citizens are warned to be on the lookout for a man driving a black sedan. License number MB2026. This man held up James Smith of Walla Walla today, taking Smith's automobile after administering a severe beating to the motorist. His man is described as being six feet two inches tall. Ha, <laughs> severe beating. Why, I didn't hit that guy but once. Looks like this heap is hot. I guess I'll have to get a transfer. Lloyd abandoned the car, took another, which he found on the parking lot. By easy stages, he traveled south, posing now as an army officer, at other times as a G-man. Finally, in an auto court near San Isidro, Floyd ends his quest. Well, uh, you're Juanita. Yeah? Who are you? Tom sent me. Where'd you see Tom? The same place where he'll be for the next ten years. Alcatraz. Let's go outside. I don't want the kids to hear it. Whose kids? Mine. We can sit in my car. Park back here in the shed. When did you get in? This morning about two. I've been chasing you all the way from Walla Walla. Hmm. Nice car. Where'd you get it? I promoted it from a guy from Texas. Unfortunately, his license plates were a little conspicuous. I had a change. Oh, hot car, eh? You might call it that. Well, what's the plan? That's for you to suggest. Tom said you knew some right guys. Plenty of them. Things are hot right now. Well, we'll make them hotter. Where are you going? Looking around. This will take a run into the city. See what we can find. You better watch yourself. These boys down here are tough. Yeah, I can take it. Uh, turn on that radio. It'll get police calls. I fixed it up yesterday. They sort of keep track of what's going on. Hmm? Won't seem to be anything coming through. Give them time. There's always a call or two going on. Huh? Car 21. Car 21. Go to your station. More business. Handy things, this radio. Oh, all sorry. cars to repeat on broadcast 82 regarding stolen automobile. Pan sedan. 1937 model. License in the 9 column. 9B9186. Nine six nine one eight six. This license not registered to this car, but stolen from another vehicle. This car being driven by man described as male American, six feet one or two inches, weight one hundred seventy two pounds. Arrest car and occupant. So we're all right on the job, aren't we? I told you these boys are tough. Yes, yeah. well, so am I. Let them start something. How come all you torch guys are so handy with a rod? Well, they start blasting at that, and we blast back. Hey, here comes the motor cop. Keep your trap shut. I'll do the talk at a big stop. Maybe he ain't spotted us yet. Come on, man. What's the idea? We weren't speeding. I didn't say you were. Look, we're in a hurry. We're going to town to get some medicine for a sick kid. I only got a report on a car answering the description of this one. Come on, get out. I'm going to look you over. Okay, copper. Remember, copper, you asked for this. Take your hand off that hammer, you fuck! Oh, wait a minute. Don't shoot. Give a fellow a chance, will you? I got a wife and kids. Who cares? I won't miss this time. You didn't miss. You've got my arm. It's broken now. Don't be a fool. You'll burn with this. Give a guy a break. How many man. guys did you give a break? Come on, sucker. Get in. What are you going to do? Go on. Get in. Oh, be careful. Don't kill him. Shut up. Help me get him in here. Get under the wheel. You drive. Okay. All right. Get going. Keep that radio on. How am 
much further are we going to haul this guy? Watch for a side road. We'll dump him out. There's a road right ahead there. Okay. Take it. Come on, get out, Captain. Right. End of the line, buddy. This is where you get off. What are you going to do to me? Stop squawking and get out. Let's get going. Hold your horse. Now listen, Copper. You're going to keep your trap shut? No, I'm not. Just as soon as I can get to a telephone, we'll be after you. You got nerve, ain't you, for a copper? I got a job to do, and as long as I can walk, I'll do it. Okay, guy, I'm a sap, but I'll let you go. Come on, Juanita. Get this hack roll. It's too hot. We'll have to get another one. <laughs> cars. Attention all cars. This may be in your district. Hold up and kidnapping on 60th Street between National and Newton. Motorcycle officer Hammond shot and kidnapped by a man and a woman driving a tan sedan. License in the nine column, 9B9186. 9, Victor, 9186. Be on the lookout for this car and occupant. This man is dangerous. That is all. Within 20 minutes, every road leading from the county was blockaded. Not a car, truck, or dog cart traversed any known road without being stopped, searched, the driver questioned. Police, sheriff's officers, highway patrolmen, and immigration officials joined in the gigantic manhunt. Across the border, Mexican officers waited, alert and on the watch for the fleeing pair. But minutes turned into hours, and the man and the woman eluded police. Then immigration officers Farrell and Jensen, cruising along the road, spied the tan car. Hey, Farrell. There's that car we're looking for. Where? Right ahead there. See it? Yeah, I see it. Let's take it. Uh, they've seen us. Let's get going. What do you think I'm doing now, Parkin? They pulled into the side road. Can you make it? I can if they can. Let's stop it. So are we. Hey. Hey, come back here. Let him have it. Come on over here. There's something out there in those bushes. I'm going to blast them. Don't you, Tony? Uh, who's Tony? Oh, he's my boyfriend. He was drunk. I was just walking around to get him sober. Oh, yeah? In that tan car? Oh, no. We weren't in the car. We were just walking. What was Tony in such a hurry about? Oh, he has no passport, and he was afraid. I'll bet he was at that. Hey, Jensen, take a look. A woman's coat and hat, a uh-huh. forty-five empty shell, and a lot of blood on the front seat. So, you were just walking your boyfriend around, were you? Come on. You're going to jail, sister, if Hammond can identify you. A few moments later, three officers riding along the highway near the border saw a lone man walking along the road. They hailed him. Hey, you. Come over here. What's on your mind? What are you doing out here to this time of night? I've been to see my girl. I'm on my way home. You expect us to believe that? That's your affair, friend. You can either take that or take <laughs> But the gunman escaped again through a hail of lead from the guns of the officers. Into the river bottom of the Tijuana River sped the fugitive. Hour after hour, police from both sides of the river mingled with sheriff's deputies and immigration men scouring every foot of the rough terrain on the key vive for the desperado. As dawn broke, officers who had been on duty all night were sent home for their greatly needed rest. Other officers were sent to take their places. Relentlessly, the manhunt went on, the net growing tighter about the fleeing gunman. Sometime during the night... Floyd made contact with friends, and changing clothes, appeared next day at a home just outside Tijuana. Uh, good morning. I, uh, uh, look, do you mind if I rest a while in that shed out back of the house? Yes. I said, do you mind if I stay in that shed? Que dice, señor? No comprendo English. Usted no habla español, no? Huh? What the... Ah, not. Look, what's that place there, over there? Eh? Oh, El Radio Estacion, XJMAO. Huh? Oh, radio station. Yeah, hey. thanks. I'll try that. Looking for someone? Huh? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. I was looking for one McTennis, you know him. No, what does he do? Do? I don't know. He's supposed to work here. Well, I'm afraid you have the wrong place. We don't know him here. Yeah. yeah I guess so. Maybe it's some other place. Uh, did you try Nelson's warehouse over there, on the other corner? Maybe he works there. Yeah. yeah maybe so. I'll try that. So long. See ya. 
That is funny. I wonder what I've seen that face before. Oh, well, King Tari. I have programs to run. What do you want in here? I want to stay here a while. Well, I'm the watchman here, and I can't let you hang around here. That's what you think. I'll hang around here as long as I want to. Okay, wait a minute. Are you Floyd, that guy that shot Hammond over in San Diego? So what? I know you now. I saw your picture in the paper this morning. Listen, you. You better keep your trap shut if you want to live and do well. No, sir. You can't scare me. I'm going to call the police. Yeah? Make another crack like that and I'll let you have it. You'll have to catch me first. Come back here, you fool. There, that's trap. You have every cop in Mexico around here. Well, uh, I'll better keep this going. Stick it out. If I can stay here till dark, I can make a break for it. <laughs> You see the warehouse there? All right, men, spread out. Get to places where you can see without being seen. Let's blast him out. All right, boy. Come on out. Come and get me, chopper. All right, men. Let him have it. Hold your fire, men. Are you ready to surrender, boy? No! What's oh, this? Will it be all right if I broadcast this? What do you mean, broadcast it? Look, we've run a microphone line out from the transmitter over there. We'd like to broadcast the report of the fight. Go ahead. Why don't you get the police department to punch? Salvador. Yes, See if you can get a mirror shot from uh, behind that packing box over there. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is one of the most thrilling broadcasts we've been able to bring you from these stations. Chief Cardi of the Tier 1 of Police is having one of his men make a shot using a mirror to sight him. The officer is taking aim while remaining concealed by the big box. Look. Looks like he's, he's ready to shoot. Yes, he's about to make it. Oh, boy. That Floyd must be a crack shot. He broke that mirror the officer was using. All right, please. Chief Cardi is changing his plan of battle. Take your fire. We will try to catch his instructions to his men. Take your fire. Take your fire. One. Get a ladder. That one over by the building there. Try to par, pry a part of that roof off. Salvador, si, senor. Uh, get your rifle out of the car. Climb up on that roof next to the building. See if you can get a shot at him from there. Si, senor. Si. All right, men. Start firing. The crowd is growing every minute. There must be at least three or four thousand people here. Emigration officials from across the river have been trying to get these parties to let them join in the fight. But as you know, it is against the law for officers from other countries to bring arms into Mexico. Chief Sears from San Diego is out here. And there is Captain Kelly of the San Diego Police. He brought over a bunch of gas shells and some gas bombs. There. Chief Cardi is getting ready to shoot the gas into the warehouse. We doubt it will do much good, though, because the front of the warehouse, that is, the gable part, is open. The building is being repaired and enlarged. Uh, there they go. They're firing gas into the building. Lloyd seems to be escaping most of the gas. Does not look as though it went far enough back into the building. After all, Chief Carty is taking a pretty big chance of getting hit by one of Floyd's bullets. Floyd is keeping up a pretty steady fire from the warehouse. He seems to be using at least two guns. Oh, here comes Jensen, an immigration officer who arrested Floyd's woman companion last night. Looks like he's going to confer with Chief Carty. Maybe we can pick it up. We'll crank up the gain a little and see. Chief? Chief? Let me see if I can get this bug to surrender. All right, go ahead. Hey, Floyd! What do you want, cop? Come on out! You can't get away with this. You'll have a lot worse time swearing this beef if you don't surrender now. Oh, yeah? You want me to come out and let you beat me up and send me back to Alcatraz, do you? Not to you! Here's a present for you! Uh, it's all yours, Chief. Salvador, bring that machine gun. Master Senor. We've been trying to protect the merchandise in that building. Now we must get the prisoner. Ready, Senor. Fire! Why? Are you ready to surrender? No! One! Throw the gas bomb! Sure. One or take us! Get to the gas bomb into the warehouse! You see the gas oozing out the nail holes in the roof of the building. It's inconceivable how much gas work can stand. Officer says there's enough gas in there to smoke out a dozen men. Boy! Wait a minute! Chief Carty is calling to Floyd again. Floyd! 
I'm asking you again to surrender. There will be no violence from you. See, I'm laying down my own gun. I'm going to walk to the door. If you shoot me, you will be killed by my men. If you surrender, you will be treated fair. Chief Carter has laid down his gun. He's walking up to the door. Floyd has stopped shooting. Everyone is tense, waiting to see if the desperado will shoot Chief Carter. What a chance to take. I tell you, it takes nerve to do what the chief is doing. He's reached the door. All right, Floyd. He is standing there. He's speaking to Floyd again. Come out, Floyd. All right, I'm coming out. And there is Floyd. He's come out of the building. He's taking hands with Chief Carter. He surrenders. <laughs> Just a moment, you will hear the summation of our story. that it was the gas bombs which routed out the young madman, an example of the application of scientific methods in the apprehension of criminals, it resulted in the surrender of the criminal without further sacrifice of human life. Floyd was confined in the Mexican prison. He escaped and was reapprehended by United States authorities and is now serving a sentence in the federal prison. No, crime does not pay. <laughs> Suspect in this case now in custody. That is all. Gordon.